hello everyone welcome to another episode from investing with the difference so today we are going to look at uh, the market as well as uh, eos uh, network and some of the news around eos specifically we are going to talk about why it is important to stake more eos tokens so first of all uh, let's have a quick introduction so we always start with our page that is youtube uh, channel page that is investing with the difference we do have our Facebook link as well as our Telegram link where we are seeing a lot of participation from community. So if you just click on these pages, you can uh, request uh, to be added to these groups. And uh, we do have our Twitter uh, link as well as uh, Binance and Bit BitMEX uh, uh, referral link. So BitMEX, uh, if you're trading, a lot of people in our trading group, they're trading uh, futures on, futures on um, bitcoin as well as eos so you can uh, do that it's a very risky leverage trading but you can get some discount on the commissions if you use our referral link now coming back to eos and uh, the market i think the altcoin are still suffering so eos price is not improving but bitcoin has been seeing some good uh, momentum as uh, we looked at uh, the kind of uh, head and shoulder pattern which played out and we had targeted around $7,800 based on uh, two reasons. One is the based on this head and shoulder breakout. Our target was $7,800. Also, we had a couple of resistance lines in this zone, which is uh, one is this previous top here based on the symmetry of this pattern, as well as uh, this downward facing trend line. So all of them were pointing to the resistance zone. Uh, around $7,800 that is uh, $7,780 to be precise and uh, all the way up to $7,920 and if, if you see here the latest candle is almost reaching $7,820 uh, area which is uh, trying to break out from this resistance zone but it is not really completely breaking out so while it looks uh, very much uh, small movement if you look at uh, the chart in 15 minute chart you see a lot of volatility within this uh, range which we are playing right now you see some fast drops and uh, quick recoveries and you are seeing some uh, very very small duration volatile moves where price goes all the way down to 7600 so the volumes are picking up um, not as good as march time frame or early december january time frame but uh, it is getting better and better uh, and we are seeing a lot of trading activity as you can see from these uh, short time frame candles so overall, I think uh, bulls and bears are fighting over this right now. And uh, what we believe is uh, if we cross uh, the 7800 zone, uh, we should be able to settle above $8,000 uh, very easily. And that will really be positive for the market. And I think that's when the altcoins can rally because right now there are a lot of people uh, who are not still believing in this rally people are still waiting for confirmation personally as i said in my previous videos i'd like this uh, symmetric pattern to play out so which is marked in this uh, drawing and uh, i would like to see a little bit of consolidation a, a little bit of dip which can really give us uh, more and more shots coming into this picture which can really give a bigger boost so what happens is right now there is a it, the shorts and the longs they are balanced and the struggle is going on here but if we dip a little uh, it will satisfy this uh, similar pattern as what happened here and also it will create a base for a lot of lot more shorts to come in and uh, that's where i'm looking at the support levels of 7300 and 7050 and but if we drop below 7050 uh, we have to make sure that we 6850 is the ultimate support level for this breakout to play out if we drop below 6850 then i think we are back into this uh, market which can go down further and maybe even break uh, uh, 5800 area this time so but i think as of today it is looking positive this candle today's candle is looking very very exciting and as the day is going to come to an end in next three hours or so on this chart which is utc based chart you will see next candle starting almost ready to break out of this uh, downward trend line so that can be a big move and uh, even though it's not going to be what i we had been hoping for uh, to make it more sustainable and it, if it goes faster right now uh, it will be interesting to see how far it goes now coming to the eos network so i think uh, we are seeing some really exciting stuff happening here uh, you see a lot more airdrops coming you have uh, uh, the edna you can see right now there's they are uh, air dropping edna and then you have uh, seven and a half million uh, million blocks now being produced 
and uh, overall it's a very very healthy network the throughput has gone above 3000 which is huge i think uh, we were not expecting us to reach that high throughputs uh, in such an early stage and this is uh, actually because of a lot of stress testing being done by a few players they are really pushing the boundaries and uh, as you can see multiple times you see this message from block twitter this has been going for many many days so now what we are going to talk about is what is the impact of this so right now these all these stress tests airdrops and uh, there are some actual activity and there is some uh, you can call it spam or you can call it uh, testing or whatever you say uh, what is happening here is uh, uh, this is consuming a lot of cpu and what is happening with that is if you go to the eos new york uh, resource planner you see that if you have been monitoring while everybody was focusing on ram it is ram is very stable now around uh, 0.32 eos per kilobyte i think trading uh, volatility has reduced recently and it is settling down in this zone uh, what is happening is the cpu price is going up because uh, you need to understand what happens here when there is a uh, no usage of the network when the network is uh, really idle very small eos gives you certain reservation on the network but also uh, if the network is free you get extra bandwidth to play around with and extra cpu because uh, even if you stake small token most of the people have to stake like 0.1 eos uh, and you can still do a lot of transactions recently because of this load on the network uh, which is being created by some of the stress testers and some of the uh, actual airdrops and some other activity uh, what you are seeing is uh, these transactions can push uh, the network usage to very high level and that's why we are seeing these transactions that creates you now you can only use the reserved bandwidth you cannot really use the idle bandwidth anymore and for 0.1 eos which most of the people are starting with uh, for new accounts they are struggling to send transactions at those times so what we are recommending is everybody should stake at least one eos into cpu or maybe more in cpu and i think the network bandwidth not many people are using you're not sending a lot of data unless you're sending a uh, big memo or uh, like when you're voting sometimes you may need bandwidth because you're sending a lot of bytes of uh, 30 block producers i think for most of the simple transactions like staking unstaking or transferring tokens or even um, some other smaller transactions cpu is most critical so at least stake one eos and which is not a big deal you're not really losing that so some people are calling it price this is not really a cpu price because this is uh, uh, after every three days your uh, cpu usage is uh, refreshed if you have not used your uh, so you every three days uh, whatever you have used will become zero and you can start using it all over again and you're not really paying that you're just taking your tokens so this is not like ram which uh, the eos is lost it is just about staking in the right place so it's not an issue for the network this is how it was designed it's just that the free run of uh, like when the network was idle you were able to use uh, eos like very very small amount of eos to use the network but you need to do a little more staking now just make sure that you do that because uh, some people are facing these uh, issues uh, not being able to transact on eos network so these are some of the things we wanted to talk about on eos and of course there's a new app which is gaining a lot of attention this is called king of eos app now this is uh, more like a gambling site where you are trying to be you're trying to beat the previous bid so you start with a bid which was very low amount like a one eos and anybody who bids uh, next he has to pay 35 percent more and uh, this bids keep growing up very fast because you're paying 35 percent more to become the king and whoever is holding the bag in the end they are declared king of eos and that's all you get for paying that much eos and interestingly because people love to gamble it seems the level of uh, bid is gone all the way up to 2447 eos which is very very expensive claim to just be called king of eos i would say this is more of a king of fools because if you are paying just paying uh, this many tokens um, for to be declared king on one app which is uh, nothing much right now um, i cannot justify that so be very careful to don't get sucked into this as you can see this is the same person uh, who is actually calling him or herself uh, megan merkel uh, and uh, that person is been bidding very consistently uh, and uh, because of i think it can be an addiction once you start winning 30 percent uh, tokens every time you bid on it you get 30 percent returns if, if somebody bids you out you get your tokens back 
and this is a pretty good return and uh, i think but if the person is declared the winner after seven days then you will be holding you will be paying this huge amount of eos uh, for this risk so we do not recommend anybody to go and get sucked into these kind of gambling sites but i'm just showing you how um, these kind of uh, innovative stuff is being developed on eos which is uh, not exactly a great application just uh, uh, giving people a way to gamble and uh, look for people who can really uh, outbid them them and uh, they make a quick return of uh, eos i think the last couple of them are pretty lucky because they bid a huge amount and they were outbid and they made up uh, almost like 500 eos for this guy and this person has made almost 600 eos uh, because of somebody else outbidding them so i think gambling is becoming very popular because this is the easiest way i think to attract people it's very addictive games uh, but i would say there's more and more apps are coming which is interesting you have already talked about eos button so this is a site where you are uh, uh, just pressing a button and uh, you get entered into a draw which is a pot is growing very fast right now they are just doing with ebt token which is a good idea because you don't want people to lose their eos uh, and they are but they have promise that they will be doing the same game with eos so let's see how that works out uh, i think there are a lot of more and more people who are willing to uh, bet here and uh, make this uh, kind of um, more of a game of gamble then but this particular airdrop we talked about this last time you can still claim it they have increased the airdrop amount from 10,000 ebt to 50,000 ebt and uh, this can be claimed for any new accounts not just for the genesis snapshot which is great about uh, this project i don't know how relevant this will be after a few days when people re uh, realize that uh, this is not going to work out for a lot of people uh, and they're going to lo lose a lot of money if they are not uh, if they're playing with eos uh, all right guys so this is mostly uh, what is happening on eos network again i think the main point is uh, do take some more eos into your cpu so you don't want to get logged out of your network without being able to do transactions because ultimately for the price of eos it's important that uh, we keep seeing more and more transactions happening and uh, more and more uh, people using it and let network being loaded uh, and i think in future uh, i think right now already we are seeing a consistent like 470 right now which was almost like zero it most of the times and uh, i think this is mostly due to the spam at this moment um, but i think this is a great thing somebody is testing it and when the real application start hitting those uh, transaction levels we will not face any issues uh, so this is uh, all we had we hope that the market breaks out uh, of this zone and uh, takes the rest of the altcoins up so let's quickly look at the coin market cap and i think there are still many of the tokens are not able to keep up with the bitcoin as you can see everything is in red uh, except for bitcoin so this is a very interesting space right now uh, you have to be very careful investing in altcoins because when institutional investors are coming uh, they are mostly pumping mo the money into bitcoin at this moment which is uh, definitely looking like new money uh, as you know that uh, more and more new money is uh, always going into Bitcoin as compared to altcoins. So this is very interesting times in the market uh, for if you are trading wider markets. But I think uh, fundamentally uh, the good thing is that when institutional investors come in, they will start realizing who are the strong projects, what are the real uh, potential projects in the blockchain world. And that's where we should focus on the basics. And that's where I think uh, we really love the way EOS network is performing. And uh, all we are waiting for now is some good apps. Uh, while there are a lot of uh, easy, simpler apps coming in with a lot of uh, gambling options and whatnot. Uh, we already saw Everypedia making a lot of progress now. They are actually on the mainnet. Uh, you can really contribute and earn IQ tokens. Uh, while we're talking about that, so let's look at the chains, which is... Uh, uh, the exchange which is listing EOS tokens so the good thing is uh, there are a lot more uh, EOS token tradings happening now uh, as you know that IQ token was listed uh, and uh, CET with its change token and they do have an airdrop market now the airdrop market is also expanding slowly they have a couple of tokens listed the Horus Pay and Karma um, they're not doing very well right now because I think a lot of people are just selling off um, because these apps are in very very early stage I don't think uh, they have uh, it's mostly early stage development where their real token is not being used by end user but it is just uh, used by traders so I would say that it is not a great idea for these people to list that early while it creates a market for it 
um, I think a lot of people are going to struggle to justify holding these tokens. Uh, we personally think that uh, ultimately out of all these hundreds of dApps which are coming, not all of them will be successful. So it is uh, up to you whether you believe in certain project, you want to hold these tokens. Some people are just uh, cashing out and as you can see, uh, if we go to the one hour chart of it, uh, it's pretty much uh, dipping on a, if you look at more and more broader time frame we are seeing that these tokens are not able to hold value right now uh, but i think at least the good thing is that uh, the trading market is getting created for eos and uh, chains is actually very interesting uh, uh, token itself because uh, they are uh, creating this eos exchange while they are also giving you an option to earn dividend on your cet tokens and that is because uh, you can stake your tokens and uh, they reward you uh, for staking your tokens in longer run so this is not a bad idea i think it got pretty high price initially because of this uh, interesting model they have used and that's why i think a lot of people started accumulating but recently i think as more and more people realize that they can cash out these cet tokens which everybody got from genesis snapshot it is a pretty good uh, 12 cent dividend which you can say for every eos token you held uh, at genesis uh, snapshots i think a lot of people are cashing out um, so it's going to be interesting how new buying comes in and whether these uh, tokens start moving up and uh, that usually happens uh, after the initial selling pressure goes away so if you see even iq token has been facing a lot of selling uh, ever since it listed it listed very nicely it went up but uh, more, more and more people are selling it right now uh, so it, it's uh, very difficult to say how each of these projects will do i think many of these projects have very strong teams so i do expect them to start recovering at some stage but uh, I think many of the traders they are short um, uh, short term focused and they just want to cash out uh, because of this extra bonus they got uh, for e holding EOS. So this is how its market is performing. I think generally the altcoins are low and that's impacting all this uh, airdrop market as well as this tokens on EOS. Once we have a clear uh, uptrend setup in Bitcoin out of this uh, immediate resistance areas. I personally believe that uh, all these uh, markets will start performing when people get more confidence back. So that's all from now and uh, we will get back to you I think uh, tomorrow with more videos but at this stage uh, uh, do let us know if you have any questions. We will uh, be doing lesser shows next week because I'm traveling but I think uh, we will definitely engage more and more over telegram channel as well as Facebook uh, as we uh, Keep engaging and building this EOS community. Thanks a lot for joining. Bye for now. Do subscribe to our channel if you are not already subscribed. And uh, please press like if you like the content. Thank you. Bye.